are cracks showing in the government of national unity? I recently read an article on IOL titled DA Cabinet Demands Shake Political Landscape. This article basically states that the 10 cabinet positions that the DA is demanding is too much for the ANC and for the, the agreed GNU at this stage. But the GNU, as far as I understand, is not quite fixed yet, even though some have signed. Before the ANC and the DA signed their GNU agreement, the ANC had already sent out invitations to other parties to form part of the GNU. Now, these parties have all joined and they need to fit in somewhere. And the demand for 10 positions, but some say 12 positions in the cabinet by the DA, is said to be too much for the, uh, the ANC and the other partners. Now, as I understand, there are 64 cabinet positions, of which 28 are for ministers and the rest are then... Uh, for deputies, etc. If we take the 28 ministerial positions and we take 10 away, then 18 remain, plus deputies, which is uh, quite a bit. And considering that the DA did win over 20% of the vote, and the ANC 40%, that is a fair split. Had this entire GNU consisted only of the ANC and the DA, However, additional people have now joined, additional parties, the IFP is there, the good party, the PA, and a whole lot of other people have now joined this GNU. So what positions do they get? Do they get major positions or are they going to be dropped to deputy ministers? Or how is the split going to work? And this is where um, the, the DA is playing hardball. But they have to. They are trying to get the best for their voters, including deputy minister position, which I think is fair. Is 10 positions too much? I don't think so. It would be good if John Stiernazen could be deputy minister for the simple reason that foothold the DA then gets puts a bit of a break on what the ANC has been doing for the last 30 years. Governance of the country, provinces, and even municipalities leaves much to be desired. No matter who you support, whether you are a DA supporter, ANC supporter, EFF, IFP, I don't care who you support. Where the ANC have been in rule over provinces and municipalities, it has been pretty much a disaster, with most of these municipalities becoming defunct and infrastructure collapsing. ESCOM is just one of these infrastructures. We look at a lot of others, our Defence Force, the, the SAPS, and a lot of other systems have fallen apart because of ANC rule. No matter how you look at it, ANC rule has not been good. Corruption and wasting of money or not applying resources as they should be due to lack of skill for whatever reason, the ANC does not seem to have the will to govern to the benefit of the people, but seem to rather favor money in the pocket. The DA, on the other hand, have shown that they can govern a province, irrespective of whether you support the DA or not. When you look at the Western Cape where the DA have been in control for a long time, it is better off. Yes, there are still challenges. And yes, there, is a, there are a lot of people who complain about things that have gone wrong. But you know what? Compared to other provinces, compared to other towns, etc., etc., the DA is giving the people more than the ANC have given. It may not be ideal, but it is better. There are other parties that may actually contribute to the benefit of the greater whole, South Africa, the citizens. But we will have to wait and see what these other parties bring to the table. For now, the big fight for cabinet positions is between the ANC and the DA. 
and then thirdly, the IFP. The MK and the EFF have clearly uh, stated that they don't want to be part of this GNU. EFF stating odd things like they don't want to work with the DA or the Freedom Front Plus. The MK party have said that they also don't want to work with the DA. So the ANC was forced to form this alliance, this GNU or coalition. Either way you like to look at it, they are forced to form this government of national unity with the DA and relevant partners. At this stage, they cover about 70% of the foothold of the government, meaning that uh, they have that two-thirds majority as GNU to run the country. So it doesn't matter what the, the MK says, it doesn't matter what the EFF says. The GNU and what they decide in the end is going to uh, run the country. What we don't want to see is that if the DA do not get their positions that they decide to withdraw. We do not want to face that position because it is possible that, that the GNU can stand on its own legs at this stage or that the EFF and MK could even join them. In which case they will become so strong that any opposition that the DA then uh, faces which they will become they will become the main opposition again however they will have almost no say actually they will have no say because the GNU will have so much percentage vote power that the, 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 the DA means nothing nothing the DA says will be able to affect or stop anything the advantage of having the DA, especially in the GNU, is putting on the brakes of the ANC. The, they, they do not have control over the ANC. However, they do have a big say. So the ANC cannot just stomp ahead and do whatever they like, change rules, change laws, um, allocate money back and forth. The DA does have a say and they have a proportionate big say. Now let's also hope that part of this big say is used by the DA to address f fraud and corruption within the government and government structures and that investigations are expedited. Let's hope that the DA can address corruption and fraud and mismanagement within the government structure. It is what's needed in municipalities in provinces in the entire country. South Africa is literally at the edge of becoming a failed state and completely falling apart. And the DA can literally stop this. They can, they've halted the process. They are those breaks that we have needed. And we need them in the GNU in order to hopefully bring about the change we need for South Africa to become a better country for everyone, not just DA voters. Some people who see the DA in the GNU see them as an enemy. I don't believe they are an enemy. I believe even though I may not be a DA supporter, they have proven themselves as capable of managing the country, capable of managing provinces and towns better than ANC-run municipalities have been run and they are not there to take over they cannot take over they do not have the vote power to take over the government so they have a say but they do not have a, the power of taking away or changing a say from the ANC side but they can put on the brakes I would like to give an example imagine we had a government where we had all the parties agreeing on the same thing so it was 100% control of a group of parties that said, well, this is the way it's going to be and that's the way it's going to run. You have no opposition. If they are not in favor of people um, or true governance, the citizens will start suffering. And this is where the GNU, as we have at, the, at this stage, is, though it's not perfectly balanced, it is better balanced because we do have an opposition, a, a party that says, 
we do not agree with you and we will need to negotiate on behalf of the people what is going to work better for everyone, for uh, whether it's minor- minorities or others or the majority or whoever, having a party or group of parties there that can argue the other side is always better for any government so that we get the best as people, the citizens of the country. But anyway, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about this whole process of the GNU? And um, do you believe it can work? Will it survive five years? Because we need it to survive five years. There are going to be a lot of fights back and forth, but I'd love to see how it actually works. I cannot wait for this first cabinet sitting. I'll be watching it and I hope you guys will be watching as well. But if you do have comments, pop them down in the comment section. I'd I'd love to read what you have to say. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel as I do have a few more stories to tell. I will catch you in the next video.